All right, all right, all right. Good evening to all the grade 12 students. How are you all doing, students? Yes, yes, yes. We are back again with the next chapter for your board examination preparation. That's nothing but aldehydes, ketones and acids concept map. And what is this concept map? Concept map is nothing but it is going to cover every line, every reaction of your whole chapter, everything into one table format. If you read this, the whole chapter will be done. Next, your task is to solve the NCRT questions. Yes, students, nothing to worry. So, welcome back. Hello, Namaskaram, Vanakkam, Shastriyakal, Adabarse, Channa, Gidra, Baun, Nara to all the students of WOC and to all the new students. God bless you all. To all the old students, God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you with loads of blessings. Let's start. So now students, for this board preparation, last 30 day series, I have done solutions completely. I have done DNF block completely. Electrochemistry is done completely. Solutions is done completely. And as I said, halo alkanes is done. Alcohols is done. But did I repeat any chapter? Okay, not a problem. So now I started with aldehydes, ketones and acids. Reason, when I have asked in the telegram channel, students said, ma'am, please uh, finish this chapter first. Okay. So next coming three days or four days, it will cover two fifty MCQs. It will cover MCQs. It will cover uh, one mark, two mark, three mark, four or three mark, five mark questions. It will include uh, you know uh, reasoning questions. It will include name reactions. Everything. So stay connected. Join the Telegram also so that you can utilize complete notes. Let's start, students. To prepare this, it took almost for me three hours because of your request. I didn't. Though it is a busy schedule, I didn't waste time. I prepared and I'm sending it today. Let's start. So in aldehyde, ketones and acids concept map, you're supposed to study the preparations of aldehydes, ketones, aldehydes and ketones and acids separately. I'll show you that. Then physical properties for all the three are important for you to learn. Then chemical reactions, you're going to study nucleophilic addition reactions, reduction, oxidation, reactions due to alpha hydrogen and other reactions. Everything we are going to see in this video. And like that, for carboxylic acids, you have reactions involving or cleavage of OH bond, cleavage of COH bond and COH bond. There are also certain reactions where you will be using PCL3, PCL5, SOCl2 and NH3. So this complete concept done. So let's start. Now, first of all, you are going to study the preparations of aldehydes and ketones. What did I do? I took the page and I divided it into two. Here in this case, the preparations of aldehydes are there in that Rosenman reduction. See here, all the name reactions are here. Rosenman reduction, Stephens reaction, reduction process, Itard reaction. All are here only. So here what is important is when you are learning for your exam, quickly this page if you take, completely aldehydes is covered, completely ketones. Same like that, I have also included uh, preparation of ketones using cadmium chloride from nitriles using Rignard reagent, Pilgraf acylation using anhydrous AlCl3, and open or oxidation using this. So, complete ketones. Further, anything is left out? Shall we see? Yes. In aldehydes, there are two more reactions that is side chain halogenation, Gatram, and Koch synthesis. So, total six preparations are there for aldehydes. One to six for aldehydes, one to four for ketones. So, totally, if you study this six plus Four, 10 reactions everything is covered in the students is learn exactly like this it's done and in exam you can write in words and send it or you can finish off your answer suppose if they ask you what is Stephen reduction Stephen reaction so you can write I mean alkyl or cyanoalkanes or alkyl nitriles when they're treated with uh, reducing agents like SNCl to HCl so okay they're going to form aldehydes on further hydrolysis in that way you can write and finish it off but it's students, Chalo. so this is your first page. I took everything done. Now aldehydes and ketones preparations are done. Correct. Now what should we do? We have to do the next important thing. Preparations of aldehydes and ketones. I told you right. There are aldehydes preparation separately. Ketones preparation separately. Aldehydes and ketones preparation separately. Now again I have included another name reactions. So common things like oxidation, dehydrogenation, hydrogen. Okay, the G nation, so the N, G nation, N is missing here, students, hydro, G, G, I, N, A is missing, sorry for that. Hydrogenation, hydration, everything I did. Again, ozonolysis, heating, decarboxylation, dehydration. 
So total of how many reactions are there? Total of six reactions are there. Once again, the initially for preparations, 10 reactions are there. For uh, preparations of aldehydes and ketones, six. If you study all this, you know, completely six to seven pages of your aldehydes and uh, ketones of NCRT is complete. This is over students. I have given the reagents. I have given the temperatures. Everything I have given clearly. Okay. Then gradually, gradually. And when I go, preparations of aldehydes are over. Preparations of ketones are over. Preparations of aldehydes and ketones are over. Now what is left out? We are left with physical properties and structure. So normally in physical properties, they will only ask you two things. Either boiling point concept or solubility concept. So I have given the order. I have given the reason. Here also in solubility, I have given the order or concept as well as because lower members of aldehydes and ketones, why they are miscible. I also gave the concept here. As alkyl group increases, solubility decreases because steric hindrance will be more, right? So that also. On my right hand side, I have given structure of carbonyl group. So carbonyl group, sp2 hybridization, what is a bond angle, what, how it is and everything. So, Preparations of aldehydes are over, preparations of ketones are over, preparations of aldehydes and ketones are over. Now we have physical properties are over, you know, structure of alcohol, the carbonyl group which is present in aldehydes and ketones also is over. Then, next, what is important? Yes, chemical properties. So, chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones. Now, I told you, right, it shows nucleophilic addition reactions, first thing. Now, in this case, they are going to ask you the order also what actually what is happening everything i have given why ketones are less reactive towards nucleophilic addition reason also i gave here here i have shown you the mechanism for the particular nucleophilic addition reactions where there's a nucleophile grow go what where is a positive and negative charge arising where does it go and attack after that where does the electrophile go everything i have given in the order so from here when i am proceeding gradually see these are, uh, is this the correct page? Let me go. Okay, sixth page and then seventh page. Here, if I am considering, so, sorry, slowly, slowly, yeah. If I am considering different nucleophilic addition reactions, I have taken uh, whatever Z is there instead of that HC and if it reacts, cyanohydrin, sodium bisulfate, white crystalline solid. They will ask you, there is a white crystalline solid formed. So, you need to remember. Acetyl reaction, ketyl reaction, acetaldehyde. So, everything I have given in one page, okay, all the nucleophilic addition reactions. After nucleophilic addition reactions, when we go to the eighth page, gradually, see here, further there are certain reactions where you are considering with ammonia, all right, ammonia, diacetamide, that is also given. Then I have given instead of Z, suppose if that particular uh, different reagents attack, here amine is reacting, you are getting shifts base. Now here you are reacting with hydroxylamine oxime. Like that hydrozone. Hydrazine is reacting, you get hydrozone. Like that phenyl hydrazine, hydrozone. Then 2,4-DNP, 2,4-dinitrophenyl uh, uh, hydrozone. Like that semi-carbazone, uh, carbazide and semi-carbazone. Like that the complete reactions I have. So with this the nucleophilic addition reactions are done. Now. From there, where am I proceeding? I am proceeding into further reactions. So, all the nucleophilic addition reactions I have covered under two pages. Now, what is left out? Reduction, oxidation and condensation. So, see here, reduction, only two types of reductions you are supposed to study. Then, an oxidation, you are going to study using mild oxidizing agents. I will show you further. Then, condensation, aldol condensation and zero. Both directly learn from here and write it. Now, in under oxidation, you are going to study, sorry, under oxidation, sorry students, I will go three tests. What are they? One is Tollens test, one is Felling's test, one is Halo form. So, all the three I have given, you can directly learn from here. That's oxidation. Now, completely preparations are over, completely physical and uh, physical properties are over, structure is over. Now, chemical properties under that, as we studied nucleophilic addition reactions, Reduction reactions, oxidation reactions, condensation reactions. Now, after everything is over, now I gradually went to a topic that is carboxylic acids. See, carboxylic acids total, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 reactions are there for preparations. Ma'am, in NCRT, all are not given. How, ma'am? See here. 
maximum conversions come from here students maximum here for example convert alcohol to carboxylic acids then convert toluene to carboxylic acid or the benzoic acid like that there are a lot of uh, conversions which come from this page that's the reason i have picked up all put together rig nards okay all put together i have given seven reactions practice these seven all right students so from the preparations where should i go from the preparations i have to go into the next page that is nothing but physical properties only two things are asked one is solubility one is boiling point so both the reasons i have given both the trends i have given here that's done chal now from the physical properties where should i go i have to go and study the next property chemical properties so basically it shows chemical properties of the three varieties what are the reactions involving cleavage of oh bond reactions involving cleavage of coh bond then reactions involving cleavage of coh bond means the, from the alkyl group acid group is uh, i think uh, it the bond breaks the acid group so like that as i said chemical properties so these are all the reactions all the reagents which are used where acid carboxylic acid reacts with them releasing hydrogen gas when it reacts with metal and forming you know salt plus water when it reacts with a base like that all the products reactants are here from there after acidity when you study the acidity concept this is very important page students in the acidity order basically it depends upon a depends upon plus i effect it depends upon minus i groups the electron releasing group what happens what is the order electron withdrawing group what happens to the acidic strength what is the order further also i have taken further more based on their electronegativity here i have taken one concept where with the minus i effect and if the see minus i effect is also there distance is increasing what happens that reason also i have given and based on ka i have given few examples here study this right shall gradually from here gradually reactions involving what is that reactions involving roh group right done now here reactions involving coh group and reactions involving crcoh group means the bond is broken here in this term here the bond is broken here so just how many reactions two reactions here three reactions here with this your carboxylic acid acid the part is done so reaction uh, preparations are over chemical reactions are over what is left next important thing last part is electrophilic substitution reactions of acids done students so this complete electrophilic substitution aromatic i have given here all right so this everything is completed students only thing you should remember is thanks for watching all of you thanks for spending your time here i request all of you to please like the video and share the video yes if you share this particular video it will be shown to more number of students yes thank you so much for joining me and as i said our journey starts from again tomorrow again mcqs again one mark two mark three five mark case based questions everything all right so only 10 days are left for the board examinations please like the video share the video and study this today only right thank you take care bye